In December 1971, during the Indo-Pakistan War, the United States sent Task Force 74 to attack India. The Task Force 74 was led by US aircraft carrier USS Enterprise, accompanied by three guided missile destroyers, four gun destroyers, and an amphibious assault carrier USS Tripoli, carrying a 200-strong Marine battalion and 25 assault helicopters. The US sent the task force to stop the Indian Army from overrunning East Pakistan, which was administered by US ally West Pakistan almost 2,000 kilometers away. The Indian aircraft carrier INS Vikram and its accompanying warships was delegated to stop the American task force. But the US task force abruptly turned back and fled when they detected Soviet nuclear submarines and destroyers in the area. If not for the Soviet Union, India would have fumbled. But today, the Indian military has the BrahMos missile, which can take out any aircraft carrier or task force. The BrahMos is the world's fastest cruise missile. Basically an anti-ship missile, it has been adapted to be used as a land-based and even an air-launched missile. The missile is unstoppable as it travels at supersonic speeds for its complete duration and can execute an evasive maneuver called the S-maneuver to avoid close-in weapon systems and other defense mechanisms. But what is the S-maneuver and what makes the BrahMos missile unstoppable? The BrahMos missile is jointly developed by Russia and India. It's based on P-800 Onyx, which is an anti-ship supersonic cruise missile. The BrahMos is big. It has a length of 8.4 meters, a diameter of 0.6 meters, and a weight of 3,000 kgs or 3 tons. It has two stages, with the first stage being solid-fueled and the second stage liquid-fueled. The BrahMos has a range of 290 kilometers and can travel at supersonic speed of Mach 3 for the entire duration of its flight. The BrahMos uses ramjet technology for its supersonic fly. The BrahMos missile first starts with a normal jet propulsion. When it reaches supersonic speed, the ramjet takes over. The ramjet has no moving parts. The high pressure entering the nozzle is compressed and later heated by combustion. This superheated air passes through a nozzle and accelerates the missile to higher supersonic speeds. The BrahMos is basically designed to take out strategic targets like aircraft carriers, ground-based fixed installations such as radars, command centers, air bases, enemy missile batteries, etc. It carries a 300 kg warhead. The Americans have developed advanced radar systems to detect any anti-ship missile from over 100 kilometers of distance. So any anti-ship missile detected can be taken out using air-to-air -air missiles fired from fighter jets or by missiles fired from the warships. If any anti-ship missile manages to evade all missile defenses, then there is still a last obstacle, the Close-In Weapon System or CIWS. The CIWS is an automated radar control gun system. It can fire 4500 bullets in one minute, the highest in the world. It's the last line of defense and is completely automatic, meaning the inbuilt radar will detect and track the target. But the Close-In Weapon System has a weakness. The CAWS radar can be jammed using sophisticated electronic jammers. This will prevent it from effective tracking of incoming missiles. But there are multiple CAWS in a single warship. The second weakness of the CAWS is a swarm attack. If multiple missiles are launched simultaneously and well spaced out, then the CAWS radar will be saturated and one of the missiles will go through. The third weakness is the maneuverability. A low-flying missile traveling at supersonic speeds and is able to make abrupt maneuvers will bypass a CIWS defense system. So the Russians developed anti-ship cruise missiles exactly to cater to the weakness of the defense systems of the Western warships. That was the BrahMos. The BrahMos missile will travel at very low altitude or sea scale at supersonic speeds. Due to the curvature of the Earth, the ship will not be able to detect the low-flying supersonic missile. Only an AWACS flying in air can detect such a missile in advance. The warship by itself can detect the missile only at a 30 km distance, giving the ship only a 30-second window to respond. The warship will now engage the close-in weapon systems to stop the missile. Now, the BrahMos missile, using its thrusters, will execute an evasive maneuver called the S-maneuver, as shown in the animation. 
which will give very little reactive time for the CAWS bullets to hit the supersonic missile. If multiple BrahMos missiles is launched against the same ship, then the chance of the ship defending itself will be very low. Due to the supersonic speed, the energy of impact of the BrahMos missile will be more than the explosion of its 300 kg warhead. The BrahMos missile is able to maneuver at high speeds using thrust vectoring. Thrust vectoring nozzle is a key component. It's a nozzle that can be adjusted to deflect the exhaust flow of the missile's engines. It can move in different directions, allowing the missile to maneuver in flight. Pitch control is achieved by moving the nozzle up and down, helping the missile change its vertical trajectory. Yaw control is achieved by moving the nozzle left and right, allowing for changes in horizontal direction. This thrust vectoring at high speeds helps the BrahMos to make the S maneuver. The combination of its supersonic speed, C-skimming ability and the S maneuver makes the BrahMos unstoppable. If you like this video, please subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.